Before the discovery of insulin, type 1 diabetes was a deadly disease. You would die of um, diabetes. There was really no treatment. Diabetes is a disease that affects over 550 million individuals around the world. 10% of those cases are people who have what we call type 1 diabetes. That disease is due to an insufficient amount of insulin. The field was really struggling with this problem. Banting and McLeod got together they started to work on the problem over the summer of 1921. And they did experiments where they could show that there was a factor in the pancreas that could control blood sugar. The PRESS is a very important landmark in the study of diabetes uh, because uh, that was the discovery of insulin. It was a miracle. It was no doubt that this was a real breakthrough. The 1923 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of insulin is considered um, somewhat controversial, even today. And we have the benefit of 100 years to go back in history and try to look at many different elements. The controversy was more related to, were these two individuals the right individuals? Should both of them receive it? Should one of them receive it? Should other people be included? There are a few different reasons for this. Um, one reason is that uh, McLeod was uh, a uh, more senior researcher, whereas Banting was taken into the lab. When the prize was awarded in 1923, Banting was furious because he thought that McLeod was a bystander and, and didn't have a really important role in the prize. He thought instead that his co-worker, Best, should have been sharing the prize with him instead. It was already 1921 when Banting and McLeod got together. Charles Best was brought on the team and experiments were started where they had diabetic dogs, they took away the pancreas, the dogs became diabetic. They were working with a real clear goal in mind, and that was really to help these people suffering with this disease. They had skilled biochemists, physiologists, and they had the medical competence, and they were all within close, close proximity. They were talking and communicating. How could they have not gotten caught up in how exciting this is? Now, we understand today there was others working on the problem that might have been missed. The other part of the controversy concerns whether or not other researchers should have been included as well. Uh, in fact, there is one Romanian scientist, Paulescu, who several years before actually got very similar results. And perhaps they misunderstood the results because the paper was written in French. So they missed that research. There was a letter that was written to the secretary of the Nobel Assembly before the prize was awarded, cautioning that you're going a little too quick here. There might be other people we need to think about. It was huge, and Banting and McLeod, Best and Collop understood the impact of their work. They understood how big this was. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's worth pointing out that it's really unique in, in terms of being awarded very rapidly after the discovery was made. Perhaps if it would have been investigated more thoroughly, the price would have maybe been a little bit different, who knows. I think it's a very interesting history, but despite the rap rapid uh, decision and work by the committee, I, I think they essentially got it right. It's 100 years ago since insulin was really uh, awarded the Nobel Prize, and since then, the understanding of how insulin works has just exploded. But for the patient, the patient with type 1 diabetes, it was basically a paradigm shift. The 1923 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of insulin was sort of one of the poster childs for new research in physiology, medicine, and chemistry. I've been working around how insulin works for my whole scientific career. I think the discovery of insulin and understanding how the hormone works is basically the fundamental basis on what I work on. The discovery of insulin really fueled a lot of different research avenues. There were other Nobel Prizes that were awarded that were somehow coupled to insulin. There was the Chemistry Prize to Sanger for um, his work related to protein structures, and obviously insulin was one of the molecules he worked with. There was a prize somewhat later to Rosalind Yallo 
for her work to develop a radioimmunoassay to be able to detect insulin and other hormones in blood samples. Dorothy Hodgkins was a chemistry laureate and she received a Nobel Prize for uh, deducing chemical structures and one of the molecules that she worked on was insulin. It's the typical uh, situation with, with these major breakthroughs. It, it, it's just the beginning and explodes in new exciting research. So insulin is really quite a fascinating hormone, type 2 diabetes. It's a subtle disease in that it develops over many, many years. And so reversing it isn't suddenly going to be overnight by, by exercising. But if we understand what are the pathways that, for example, will lead to more insulin-sensitive muscle, we can maybe impact that either with targeted uh, drugs or maybe even with gene deliveries. And we can actually tweak the muscle even in the absence of exercise, so that it responds better to insulin. I'm really hopeful that researchers will come closer to finding a cure for diabetes. And I believe that we have great tools in our hands. I think uh, uh, living through perhaps the most exciting times in, in biomedical research, uh, and actually the other research areas for the Nobel Prizes as well is, is enormously progressive and, and rapidly moving forward. The 1923 Medicine Prize identified a hormone that was a fundamental for controlling blood glucose. And once we have the hormone, understanding how it's produced, how it's regulated, how it binds to its receptor is really fundamental for understanding insulin action. I'm not only hopeful, I, I know we will have a very exciting time ahead of us when it comes to Nobel Prizes with uh, breakthroughs of similar magnitude but for other diseases and also other basic discoveries that, that will have enormous impact.